you have heard of ChatGPT, but what if I told you you could run it entirely on your Mac? No cloud, no API, no internet, and it actually works. In this tutorial, I will walk you through how to run powerful AI models like Mistral and Llama locally, chat with them using a clean UI, and even upload your own PDF for Q&A, all offline. Let's get started. Local LLMs are large language models you can run on your own machine without relying on OpenAI, Google, or APIs. They give you full control, better privacy, no API limits, and they work completely offline. Alright, time to bring your mic to life. We are going to install Oyama, the local engine that powers some of the best OpenAI models like Mistral, Llama 2, Phi, and even Code Llama. Open up Terminal and let's do this step by step. That install Oyama via Homebrew. Next, we will start it as a background service so it's always running when you need it. Or if you prefer running it manually every time, you can just run this command instead. Now let's grab a model. We will start with Mistral. It's fast, smart, and perfect for general Q&A. And now for the fun part. Let's run it. With this, Mistral is now running locally on your machine. No cloud, no keys, and best of all, no GPU required. This is your local chat GPT. If you see a warning that Oyama cannot connect, just restart the service, or open a new terminal and run the save command again. Just keep that window open while testing. Now that we have got the engine running, let's add a dashboard, something clean, something powerful. That's where OpenWeb UI comes in. A beautiful, local front end where you can chat with your models like you are in ChatGPT. First, make sure you have got Docker installed. If not, download it from docker.com. Then run this in your terminal. It will pull open Web UI and connect it to your local Oyama. Now open your browser and head to localhost with port 3000. Create your account. It's all local and under settings. Model provider, choose Oyama. Then just type Mistral or which model you have pulled. You now have your own private chat GPT, right here in your browser. Let's take it further. What if you could upload a research paper, a contract, or even a meeting summary, and just ask questions about it? In OpenWeb UI, Click the little paperclip icon and upload your PDF. I will use the famous attention is all you need paper. Ask it, what's the core idea of the transformer architecture? Or explain multi-head attention. Watch as it pulls the answer in real time from your document. Even with big models like Mistral, the MacBook M1 Max handles this beautifully. We are using seven to 10 gigabyte of RAM and still zero swap. Quick tip here, some model work better with shorter document. Mistral handles up to 4,000 tokens comfortably, but for really long PDF, a trial Llama 2 or load a Quantizide 14 billion model if you have got the RAM. Now here's where it gets fun. You can try different models based on what you need. Mistral is for balance and fast task, Llama 2, robust and deeper reasoning, Phi, lightweight and small footprint, Code Llama, purpose built for coding. Test the same prompt side by side. Watch how each one answers differently. And monitor RAM usage to find your sweet spot. Try them all, see what fits your workflow.
open with your eye lets you export your chats markdown pdf or json great for saving technical answers summaries or tracking your research you can opt the json and vs code or copy markdown into notion is your local knowledge base now Now let's get real. Here's what you can actually build with this setup. A private research assistant that reads your white papers. A book summarizer, perfect for study or creative review. Local coding help with no internet dependency. Or just an AI companion that knows your document and doesn't phone home. This is what local AI feels like. Fast, private, and in your control. That's how you build your own ChatGPT, completely offline. In the next video, I will show you how to scale this setup into a full knowledge base using embeddings and a smart file search system. Subscribe so that you don't miss it. And if you try this setup, let me know in the comment what you have used it for. Finally, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.